We're going to simplify expressions using order of operations. What's making this a little bit different is that we now have integers, positive and negative numbers. If you recall, the order of operations is PEMDAS. So the P stands for parentheses, then we do the exponents, then we do multiplication, oops, multiplication and division left to right or the order it appears and then you do all of the addition and subtraction in the order it appears left to right as well. So we cannot forget our PEMDAS. So going from here we're going to look at our exponent first. This is not negative 6 squared. It is the opposite of 6 squared. So 6 times 6 is going to be 36. So it's the opposite of 36 or a negative 36. So we have negative 36 and then we write everything else the same. Copy it all down. Then whenever we look, we're done with our exponents. We don't have any parentheses. And so now we're going to multiply or divide left to right in the order it appears. So we're going to do negative 36 divided by negative 2, which is positive 18. Everything else gets brought down. We're going to continue with our multiplication and division left to right. We now have <clears throat> multiplication. So 18 times 2 is 36. So then we have 36 minus a negative 10. Well, whenever you subtract a negative 10, you leave 36, you change your subtraction to addition, and you add the opposite integer. So 36 plus 10 is positive 46, and that's our answer. I want you to complete number two on your own, pause the video, allow yourself time to do it, and then hit play. And as the video plays, I want you to check your work and please correct any mistakes that you have wrong. So whenever I look at this, again, I'm thinking about PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, where you have to do parentheses first, then exponents, then you multiply or divide left to right, and then add or subtract left to right. So if I look at this, I have negative 3 cubed. The negative 3 is in parentheses. So that means negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 is your base times a negative 3. Well, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 3 is a negative 27. So this simplifies to negative 27. Then I'm going to... <clears throat> I don't have any multiplication or division. I'm done with my exponents, so that I'm adding and subtracting in the order it appears. So I'm going to do negative 27. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to change my subtraction to addition, and I'm going to add the opposite integer. So now I'm going to do negative 27 plus a negative 6 gives me a negative 33. Copy down the plus 14. Now I have a negative plus a positive, so I'm going to actually subtract them. Different signs subtract, and I'm going to keep the sign of the higher absolute value. So that is going to be negative, thir negative 19, rather. 33 minus 14 is 19, and you keep the sign of the one with the higher absolute value, which is negative 33. Be sure to correct any mistakes that you made. Now we're going to do the last problem, number three. I'd like for you to complete it on your own and then to hit pause so the video stops. Then once you're done, hit play again and you can check your answer. So again, we're going to go with PEMDAS. We have parentheses, so we're going to do the parentheses first. Everything else gets copied down. So we have negative eight. We're going to leave that, we're going to change the subtraction to addition, and we're going to take the opposite integer. We're going to change that to the opposite. So whenever I look at this, I have 
negative 25 times a negative 2 plus negative 8 plus a negative 8, same sign, add and keep. So I'm going to add them, which is 16, and keep the sign of a negative. Now I'm going to come back and I'm done with my parentheses. I don't have any exponents. I have multiplication. So I'm going to do a negative 25 times a negative 2. Okay, a negative times a negative is a positive, so that's positive 50 plus a negative 16. Now, I'm adding a positive and a negative. Those are different signs, so I'm going to subtract them. So 50 minus 60 is 34, and I'm going to keep the sign of the higher absolute value. So 50 is a higher absolute value than negative 16, so it is positive 34 is my answer. Go ahead and look over your work and fix any mistakes you made. Once you're done with this, you're going to go ahead and do the scavenger hunt. Good luck.